Welcome to this Windows channel and um, we're going to have a little series in the next few days on troubleshooting computers, uh, tips and tricks on what's happening and what to look for and what tools you can use. So we're going to start with this first basic um, troubleshooting video. Um, the first thing that you can probably try when you have a problem with your computer is try to put it into words and don't underestimate the power of Google. A good tech will use Google to search for a problem. So if I go to a client, if I see for example, a lot of you have been you know posting problems, go to Google and you know enter a description. Uh, slow Windows 10 boot time and check all the results uh, here you see there's one here Windows 10 how to fix slow boot up issues after free upgrade uh, booting and restarting is slow from the Microsoft community so you know go through Google's powerful search engine because it really helps a lot uh, say you have a problem with maybe um, you know crashes with error messages well you know just put in the search the exact error message if it says uh, let's say you have a blue screen zero uh, x o o o f six seven eight windows seven then you will try to search for something like that obviously this is not an error message that has any value because it doesn't find anything but you know what when you get a error message on your computer you are not alone um, pretty much every error message I've seen is not specific to only one person it's specific to very often um, you know a specific setting that thousands of people have on the web or around the world so you're not alone you're never alone to have a specific problem so that's your first tool and your first tip here for um, you know troubleshooting a problem with a computer try to put it into the best words possible if you can match um, technical words that are used on computers you might even have better choice and you know what when you see when you start actually um, writing stuff you will see that Google will give you suggestions so keep an eye on those suggestions because very often what you'll have is suggestions that are very close or even exactly what you have so that's your first first and foremost test why not Google it and see where it brings you I know that obviously some of you have gone to my channel because you've Googled a question and YouTube video that was mine popped up in the search and that's one also another reason why you see also fixes for problems is because not only you have these articles but you will have uh, YouTube videos of different people having problems that will have a fix or you know tips and tricks on how to fix the problem so don't hesitate to use Google try to describe the problem as much as you can the more you have details the more specific the search result will be and if you have no search results I would probably think that you're not wording right you're not writing exactly as it is or how it is or in the correct words that needs to be done correctly in order to work well so you know when I go to a, a clients uh, home and I have a specific problem what I'll do is try to find an answer but if I don't find it right away what I'll do is reword or rephrase so I'll just think of how I can say it in another way that's gonna help the search engine find what I want so that's the tip number one that I have use Google it's very important and a good tech guy uses Google all the time why because a lot of problems are very specific and without the help of Google it's often difficult to know what's wrong exactly in the computer so that's my first tip and there's gonna to be tons of tips 
on troubleshooting your computer. So by following these tips, you might actually find yourself an answer to a problem. Uh, I've got tons of problems that people expose to me with error messages on the YouTube channel. Unfortunately, I'm not in front of your computer and it's often very difficult for me to help you. So if I can, I will. If I can't, unfortunately, you're on your own or you have to find somebody that's a little more knowledgeable that can actually ag have access to your computer. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to the channel? You'll be informed when your videos are online and you know what? You'll have great videos like this series on troubleshooting that I'm going to post. And uh, hopefully <coughs> you uh, will find our vi videos interesting. You can, of course, uh, give us suggestions of videos that you'd like to see. Please give us thumbs up if you like the videos. We'll be um, having better ratings on YouTube with that. And thank you for watching.